15,000 plus hand tools and power tools stolen out of the East Coast and sold on places like Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, and eBay. How could this happen over so many years? Let's check it out. Yeah, welcome back on the channel, Rockstars. This is a crazy story out of Maryland and the surrounding area. To be specific, Howard County, Maryland, which if you're not familiar with the area, it's to the west, sort of west, south, southwest of Baltimore. I wouldn't say it's out in the country, but it's a little more wilderness than big city Baltimore is. I grew up near Baltimore, so pretty familiar with the area. Uh, I don't claim it at all, so don't give me crap. But long story short, there have been a rash, huge amounts of stolen tools being reported, power tools and other things, high-end tools, high dollar, high cost, from not just retail stores and other places, pawn shops, but from actual people on construction sites, uh, you know, carpenters, plumbers, electricians, all kinds of workers, you know, blue collar jobs, reporting this huge amount of stolen merchandise over the last few months, six months, a year, even going back several years where it's just been astronomically high numbers. Well, one particular construction worker, carpenter, had his tools stolen several times in the same area, he decided to start putting air tags, Apple's air tags. In fact, I think I, I do own some of those Apple air. He decided to put these fancy little plain white Apple air tags. You can flip it over. There it is. Nice little Apple air tag on his tools. And sure enough, they got stolen again. But this time he was able to track them down. And when he did, he tracked them to a storage facility. He called the police, showed them the evidence. They were able to get a warrant to get inside of the storage unit. They forced the manager to open the storage unit. And what they found inside is bananas. Let me just show you. It's easier for me to show you than tell you. And then we'll come back here and talk about it for just a minute. Check this out. Among the thousands of stolen construction tools recently recovered in Maryland. Sharon Roger joining us from the newsroom tonight to break it all down. Hi, Sharon. Yeah, Angie, Jim, today Howard County Police announcing they've recovered around 15,000 stolen construction tools since January alone. There's so many tools, police are currently using a large garage to fit them all. It all started back in January when a tracking device in a power tool that was reported stolen led officers to a storage unit in Elkridge. Since then, warrants have been served. At at 12 locations, 11 of them in Howard County, leading them to the recovery anywhere between three and five million dollars worth of tools. Police believe that they were stolen from dozens of businesses, homes, construction sites in Maryland, Virginia, and Pennsylvania in an attempt to resell them. Every day here in Howard County and beyond, they work to build, repair, replace, and support our communities. When the tools are stolen, they can't work. And as a result, everyone loses. Yeah, that tracking device was really helpful. Detectives have identified 80 victims so far. but believe there could be hundreds more out there. Anyone who believes they may have been a victim should reach out to Howard County Police. As of right now, no one has been arrested in this case. Ange? Yeah, so there you go. 15 thousand plus tools they're valuing at what they said three to five million so we'll just call it four million for the sake of the argument four million dollars divided by fifteen thousand tools i should have been able to do that math in my head 266 dollars per tool on average i'm sure there were thousand dollar tools and fifty dollar tools but that's a staggering amount of tools over just a year fifteen thousand plus items we can do simple math if you're just talking about they stole this over the last year they were stealing 41 items a day even over two years they were stealing at least 20 a day and they had them in 12 different storage unit locations this is not one person this is absolutely a team of people at least two or three a partnership or a trio this could be as many as one guy who's taking in all the tools the fence, the seller guy who's making the money, and he's got all kinds of his buddies, his, you know, drug addicts, or maybe, you know, sometimes they recruit homeless people. Uh, sometimes they recruit, you know, criminals, ex-cons, people who can't get jobs. There's a million possibilities of who they got going out there and stealing, because there's always the one guy who doesn't want to be, you know, he doesn't want to get his hands dirty and go do the thefts. He just wants to be the guy 
holding all the stuff and selling it and making the money and paying everybody out. And he usually keeps a big bulk of the money. What's crazy to me is you've got 12 storage units, rented storage units. Somebody signed and paid for those storage units. When I have my storage units, I had to put down my name, my social security number, my e, uh, EIN because I rented it for a business name. Um, I had to pay with a credit card. I had to sign a bunch of papers. It, it's a lot. It's not as easy as just walking in and handing them $100 cash and you get a, a storage unit. Maybe there's some mom and pop shops that operate that way. I'm not 100% positive that that actually happens, but um, there's always using a fake ID or a fake credit card, stolen credit card, but I feel like there should be a way that they can track this person or persons down and get it um, solved, get them arrested and figure out what's going on. And, you know, obviously they have all these tools to now try to get back to the owners. Hopefully most of the owners come forward and, uh, and realize that it's their tools. So crazy story. And this stuff ends up, unfortunately, on the platforms that we all use, like Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. Some of us still use it. Don't judge. Um, you know, sadly, if, if somebody's educated and, and business savvy, they'll put them up on eBay and there's no way for these platforms to know. Yeah, some of this stuff definitely has serial numbers reported stolen would pop up, but eBay and Facebook marketplace are not in the same system as a pawn shop would be that has to, you know, relay that information to the police on a daily and weekly basis. If you're not familiar with pawn shops, every item they bring in, be it pawn or purchase, they have to record a serial number, a make, a model, who brought it in, how they paid for it, what they paid for it, when they got it, where they got it, all this stuff. And they submit reports to the police department literally daily and weekly to make sure that when somebody calls and says, hey, I found my stolen laptop at a pawn shop, the police can run it and go, hey, um, they ran it through the system. And when it came in, it wasn't reported stolen. You didn't report it for a week later. They cover all their bases, but Facebook and Craigslist and, and eBay don't do that. If you found your item on eBay and you recognize the serial number and it was stolen, you could contact eBay and they would certainly help you. Um, but it doesn't work the same as a pawn shop in the police department. It's not so easy, especially when it becomes nationwide, right? Uh, it's terrible. That's the, this is, you know, secure your stuff, lock your doors, lock all your stuff, never leave your stuff lay, never walk away. Even though we lock our cars, we don't leave anything in the car. If somebody breaks our window and the alarm goes off, they're going to get nothing. There's literally nothing in our cars to get. We don't even have the garage doors programmed for that reason. So they can't get our garage doors and open our garage doors. We don't leave any of that stuff in there. So just another, um, you know, be safe on all of your stuff, but also, you know, always be careful. There are bad people selling on these platforms. And unfortunately, it's not the platform's fault. It's just very hard to stop it, right? It's very, very difficult to know where all this stuff is going. And when we hear about places like Amazon and eBay, wanting your social security number, wanting your information, wanting to review your items, make sure everything is legitimate. I know it sucks. It's a pain in the butt to go through the process, but this is why they do it. The bad apples ruin it for all of us that are uh, getting our merchandise and our inventory in legal, legitimate ways. So that's the story for today. I appreciate everyone watching as always. Uh, Tuesday, June 11th, 2024. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hitting that like button. Uh, check it out the channel. Also, happy birthday to Claire. She is the co-owner of List Perfectly, the best cross-listing platform on the planet. If you don't use List Perfectly, if you want to cross-list, get on multiple platforms up to 11 and sell more stuff to more people, please check out List Perfectly. I will link them down below along with a 30% off discount code. It is Rockstar LP for List Perfectly. Rockstar LP is your discount code. 30% off trying them out. You can uh, cancel month to month, cancel anytime. Try them out. They have auto sale detection. They have bulk listing, bulk cross listing, 11 platforms, seven day a week customer service. Please give List Perfectly a try and wish Claire a happy birthday. Tell her Rockstar Flipper sent you. As always, thank you to the team at LP and Claire and Amanda and Trish and everybody else over there. They are amazing. So go try them out. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.